Well, this is St. Nicholas Church in Ulsby. So, as we've mentioned previously in part one, uh, this, uh, this site here at Ulsby was in the Doomsday Charter after the Norman Conquest in 1066. So, this place is definitely 100% Anglo Saxon. The Normans would have uh, put a little extension on, and then it's probably seen some renovations again over the years. But 100% this was here um, when the Saxons were here and probably, you never know, the Romans. Well, it's a good evening and welcome back uh, for part two of a tour here at St Nicholas's in Ulsby. So, we've la I hope you enjoyed part one of the tour. Now, uh, for part two, we're going to have a look inside at this lovely little church. So, let's go check it out. Very old medieval door here. Oh, bit of a draft, shut that. Automatic lights came on, that was pretty cool. <laughs> a bit chilly on. I hope viewers at home have got the thermals on and long johns, it's very cold today. Well, this is St. Nicholas Church in Ulsby. So, as we've mentioned previously in part one, uh, this, uh, this site here at Ulsby was in the Doomsday Charter after the Norman Conquest in 1066. So, this place is definitely 100% Anglo Saxon. The Normans would have uh, put a little extension on, and then it's probably seen some renovations again over the years. But 100% this was here um, when the Saxons were here and probably, you never know, the Romans. So, it's just such a wonderful characteristics on this church. Amazing. We've seen again a lot of history over the years has happened at this church. So the incumbents here at Ulsby. In 1085, it was just a church and a priest in the dooms, dum, doomsday, but... So, and then there's a big gap of 170-odd years. There's no recorded history. And there's more in depth. But as you can see, this uh, is packed with history here. So this church has seen a lot of action ba since back in the day. From Vikings to English Civil Wars to World Wars, English Civil Wars. And amazingly still intact in a pretty good piece really. Even though it has had a significant restoration on, on it. I would sign in, but there is no pen. <clears throat> First person of the year. Sir Beth Feats and James. Very elegant, elegant. So 
Smiley face. Brilliant. Springs in a famous pond. All right, yeah. There's a little uh, reading corner here. And it's uh, extremely old font here as well. Medieval font. Lined with lead. Uh, yeah, extremely old. The base. Yeah. Connected into the build, the rest of the yeah. Yeah, it's a bit of a crude drill. Done a good job, really, to put a plinth around it so it stops people walking and falling down it. Mm. There's uh, Abraham, uh, is Joshua, and David. It's like King David. King David is ginger. And he's barefoot. You never know, could be one of my ancestors. Moses is barefoot and Abraham. Joshua is the only one that's got footwear on. Oh heck, what's these guys? This uh, ghastly old man there is going to backstab that poor naked little ginger boy. And his, what, his mum's going crazy, get off, you dirty old man, that's my, ah, oh, it's uh, Abraham and Isaac, isn't it? <laughs> I was like, what's going on? <laughs> so he's like sacrificing his son, there's Moses, then, there, and the serpent. And it was like Joshua. Bending down, tying his laces, and there's King David, but probably when he's been crowned king, after he defeated uh, the king of the Philistines, Goliath. That's the goblet of Christ, IHS. I uh, I don't know. William Henry Flowers. Oh, Abraham. The Godfather, father, the, the father of uh, the Abrahamic faiths. We're all kind of warring with each other right now. That's the, uh, the nation of Islam and Judea. Uh, like Christianity. It's a great shame they can't all get along. Well, they used to get along. Well, it's all uh, reached boiling point. So faith, love and hope. There's Christ there holding the Lamb. To the glory of God and in loving memory of William Henry Fletcher, Alsby Grange, Arch Archdeacon of Wrexham, Agnes Crawford, his wife, given by their son. This one up here. To the glory of God and loving memory of Reverend Henry Fletcher, Mary Ann Field, his wife, and their children, 1932. This, uh, this window looks incredibly old. The depiction of the crucifixion. The Alpha and the Omega up there. Or as in Adam, all four as in Adam, 
all thy, even so in Christ, shall all be made alive. In loving memory of W.D. Field, aged 93 years, of Ulsby Grange, by his children H. and M. A. L. Fletcher. It's got to be before the Victorian days, though. Very dated. You tell it's not a medieval one because the colours aren't quite the same, the resonance of colours. This is all Victorian, like chequered floral decoration tiles. I wonder if uh, James Fowler's had his, had his hands on the restoration products here. Some kind of uh, public display, painting of the church, some pictures of uh, former vicars and reverends. And there's Reverend Flowers, the vicar in the Victorian era. There's an air crash over all speed, 1966, the 14th of June. Oh dear. Uh, Brocklesbury Junction train crash. So in the area, there's a lot of bad calamities happen here. Definitely on a ley line. Yeah, definitely on a ley line. So well, that pretty much covers Inside here at St Nicholas in uh, in Ulsby. What a fantastic little church inside and out. So, yeah, we'll wrap it up there. Hope you enjoy both parts, one and two. So keep your eyes out for, obviously, more Barefoot Chronicles series throughout the year. And uh, see you on the next one. So remember to take care of yourselves and each other. God bless.